So natural deodorants can be a little bit intimidating and can be a bit scary or even nerve wracking because you don't want to try one and then find out that it's not working and be stuck in a very stinky situation. But I must admit that my favorite choice is the Om Made Deodorant Paste. This is a great unisex smell. Um, it's got sandalwood and magnesium in it. And it is also, let me just double check. Yes, it's bicarb free. So it's great for people with sensitive skin. Um, in the past when I have tried to use natural deodorants, I've got a slight little irritation underneath my armpits. It's been nothing major. And when I switched to a different version, um, it has gone away, but generally that is caused by the bicarb in them. So with this one, it comes in a little aluminium pot. And then as you can see, it's just a little paste. So oh, it smells so good. To get it out, all you need to do is rub in a circular motion. You get a little bit on your fingers and then you just rub it on like so. It is so simple and so easy and you really don't need a lot. You need about a pea sized amount. Um, just pop it on and then you can also pop it on the other side. So that's my favorite on made natural um, organic. It's all made from organic ingredients as well. So making the transition to a natural deodorant can be a little bit intimidating, daunting, overwhelming, all of that jazz, but I promise you it is definitely worth it. There are a couple of things though that I would keep in mind when switching to a natural deodorant. So that is number one, that you have to give it time. Unfortunately, it's not like a normal antiperspirant where you actually stop sweating. When you use a natural deodorant, it will keep you sweating. So you will get sweat patches, all that kind of jazz, but the thing is that they're all completely normal and you don't need to worry about them. So that's the number one thing. And then the two thing is that I probably would recommend giving them about two weeks to start working. So try them on, you have to use them repetitively, morning, every morning. Some people use them overnight because they prefer to kind of give their body a bit more of a chance um, to get used to them. So you do have to keep with them. If you do then in that two week period, switch back to an antiperspirant, you're going to have to start that process all over again because what's happening is that your armpits are actually detoxing. So you're really close to your lymph lymph nodes here and your lymph glands. So when you're switching over, you're actually, they're going to be getting rid of a lot of um, buildup that has been sitting there while you've been using an antiperspirant. So use it at least for two weeks. And then if you're still not happy with it, I'd probably try and switch to a different brand. Maybe the brand isn't right for you. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you've got sensitive skin, all natural deodorants won't be perfect for you. I'd recommend looking for something that is bicarb free. So this could be, um, there are quite a few different brands out there on the market. Normally they'll say on the front sensitive skin or often they'll just specify and say bicarb free. For me, this is unfortunately the reality. Some of them smell so good, but the bicarb does give me a little bit of an irritation. It's nothing to write home about, nothing to go to the doctors about. It's just a little pink rash. And then I just changed to a different deodorant and then it is completely fine. The other thing you need to keep in mind is that um, natural deodorants won't make any huge big claims like protects you for 24 hours or whatever because it is you're creating a natural barrier between um, so your body will continue to sweat and then once it hits the um, deodorant, your natural deodorant paste, then that's what's going to stop the smell from happening. So if you do have a shower in that time or go swimming, you will need to reapply afterwards. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I would like to share with you. I think that is all for the moment. If you do have any questions or you would like to know more, um, we've got about four different types of deodorants on the banish.com.au website. So you can check out those, but as always, subscribe to this channel or message me, comment below, email me, get in touch, and I will answer your question as soon as possible.